Yo, what the fuck is up, guys? Mr. Snowman back here with yet another troll video today on the Xbox, and I get a lot of questions saying, Snowman, what's the best character in the game? Is it the Neon Ninja? Is it the Shadow Hunter? Is it the Ice Age? Wait, wait, no one says that. So, anyways, basically, I'm gonna show you guys today how you build the Shadow Hunter a very specific way so you can tank and do DPS in U9 dungeons. So, we're gonna go right to stats. As you guys can see, I have at least 100k physical damage. The crit damage, you don't even need crit damage, fuck that. To replace your crit damage, you're gonna to wanna to replace it with health regen. As you guys can see, I have 27,000 health regen. That is the way to go. And also, jumps help out a lot as well. So, basically, I'm gonna go through and show you guys my gems. So, to start out with, you're gonna want a good class gem. This is my class gem. Rolled in the physical damage, I think, once or twice, and that rolled in the health max or max health the other times. So, you're gonna wanna basically get 40k health off one fucking gem. Over here, you're gonna want obviously more health instead of physical damage. Over here, you're gonna want more health instead of crit hit. Over here, you're gonna want a complete shit stellar air gem. Now, guys, this won't work unless you have complete and utter aids like I do with RNG. So if you're awful, if you have awful RNG and your gems are trash like mine, then you can probably get yourself an empowered air gem like this one. That health regen right there is supreme. That max health, oh, what the fuck? That max health is also amazing and it did not roll in the crit damage even once. And it's level 21. So we're gonna move down here now. Now this is a perfect gem. Pretty happy with this one. And also a perfect one here. But it rolled in a crit hit three times so i'll go fuck myself there and anyways so also for another way for this method not to work or for this method to work i mean you're gonna want to make sure you don't have crit damage on any one of your empowered fire gems so or even your lesser fire gems as well so as you guys can see we have physical damage crit hit and max health now i think that this one rolled into like crit hit like once max health once and physical damage once and then also over here we got physical damage crit hit and max health now i think this rolled in the physical damage once crit hit once and max health once and then now the money maker this is what you this is like what you guys want to fucking see right here this is the gem of all gems so you're gonna want that 265 percent max health 14.6 crit hit and physical damage now the way that this gem rolled into it rolled in the crit hit once and I think it rolled in the max health twice. So, or actually it rolled in crit hit twice, I think, the max health once. I don't know. I wish it got over 400 fucking, fucking percent max health because that would be lit. That would be amazing. And this tank build would go even better. So, as you guys can see, we are about to be pushing 900,000 fucking health. So, I'm going to go into a U9 now, show you guys how to actually play the tanky Shadow Hunter. And maybe you, you can even get some uh, inspiration from me and want to incorporate it into your everyday life. So, I'll go through in a U9 dungeon, show you the perks of this. There's not a single con. I got the DPS for it, so don't you worry. We'll go solo some U9 dungeons. Let's see if we can actually... Oh my god, my fucking TV's loud. Let's see if we can actually get through here without people following me. And it looks like it's successful. Let me find my fucking remote real quick. Because my TV is extremely loud. So, there we... Oh, why is my TV on 100? Just, just kidding, it's on 9. But anyway, so, take your sweet time, Trove. Load into the world. Alright, so, let's see what kind of bombs we actually have here to deal with. We're gonna go right into that Curse Veil. And I'm gonna show you guys how to actually play this character. Now, the one that also the best parts about having a bunch of jumps are, is that you can just jump for days. So, we'll actually go to this large dungeon right here instead. And I'll show you guys the way that this works. Now... Uh, if you do it correctly, you won't go through a single flask. So, as you guys can see, a bunch of enemies, right? Oh, yeah, just stand right in the middle and take them, right? You, like, I've seen Gunslingers, Shadow Hunters have 200 to 300,000 health. But don't you fucking worry. You don't need that low of health. Build health on your characters, because why not, right? Look at this. I can easily solo a U9 dungeon. Yeah, it takes a little. It takes, like, maybe three seconds, but it's not that bad, all right? Look at that. Didn't even go through one flask. You can even kite enemies if you want to. Look at this. It's just amazing. Look at the rape right here. It's doing 780k almost every single shot. It's just amazing, okay? So, if you guys are wondering how to build the Shadow Hunter, that's definitely what you're gonna wanna do. Fuck the S3 back there. I don't even want it. We'll go up here to the final boss. I don't know if I can one-hit it or not. We'll pop a flask and fucking find out. Oh, whoop! And we can one-hit a three-star boss in U9. Congrats, Snowman. You have the damage and the health. Look at that. Now, if you guys were wondering about how to build a Neon Ninja or any other class, let me know down in the comment section below and I will make a tanky class of those. Maybe a tanky Neon Ninja. Pretty sure I'm the only one in the world that would fucking do that. So, if that's something you guys would be interested in, let me know down below. Hope this little tutorial guide here helped you out. I have another series coming tonight, so definitely stay tuned for that on the channel. It's going to be a banger. It's going to be up probably an hour after this video goes up. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, and if it helped you out at all, hit the like button down below. Subscribe to my channel, Mr. Professor Snowman. 
down below. Hope you have a great day. I'll see you in the next video, and stay frosty, everybody.